Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have seen how to simulate the HTTP request using the HTTP client testing module we have seen. And also we have seen about the HTTP client testing module, how to use it in the test bed and also the about this uh, HTTP testing controller, expecting all those things and we have seen these things. Now let's close this HTTP uh, request and all those things and let's move on to the components again. Now if I, in order to test this uh, deep integration test, we are trying to do uh, performing this deep integration test, right? That is nothing but uh, what I can say is uh, testing the components, tail components with the parent components. So now if you try to see here, we are having a post component.ts file and here if you try to see in this post component.html, in, in this post component.html file, we are having a child component that is nothing but single post component that is app iPhone post. So this is the URL we are having. Now if you try to observe in this post component, we are having an event, customized event that is nothing but delete event. So when this event will be fired, here whenever the user clicks on this button, so delete post, whenever the user clicks on this button, delete post, so the delete, the delete event will be fired. So here it will call the method on delete post and this on delete post, what it will try to do, it will try to emit the delete event. So when this event is emitted, we need to know that, so here this delete event will be emitted and here the method will be executed delete post with that particular post. Delete method will be executed with that particular post and it will delete the event. Now we need to check that, now we need to test in a such a way that whenever, whenever the user clicks on this button, so whenever we click on this button delete post in the child component, we need to make sure that the parent component delete method is fired or not. So we need to check like this. So when we test this delete method, we know that the delete post method fires, fires here and it will delete the post. But we need to make sure that whether this button is click, this method has to be called. This method has to fire. Let's try to see this one. So how we can test this one? So we need to go into the child component and we need to trigger the event, click event, so that on delete post will be called and we need to check that whether this event, this method has been called or not, we need to check it. Let's try to see this one. So where we need to write this test? So we need to write this test in the post component. Why? Because so we need to test that whether this method is called or not, right? It is present in the post component. So let's try to write this one. So as this one is related to delete post, I am writing in this test suite. So here I need to check that it should, okay, it should call delete method when post component button is click right delete button is click so now let's try to do it so first what we need to do so in order to render the post component so when the post component button is clicked only then the delete method is called right so what we need to do so first in order to get this child components what we need to do here we need to get all the post details so let's try to simulate the post details so how can we do this one so here we are having a mock post service, sorry, not this one. So here you are, you are having the mock post service and you can call this one. Okay. So here I am using this mock post service, get post and we are defining the returning value and fixture dot detect changes. It will call the ng on init. When it calls the ng on init, here if you try to see this get post will be called and the post data will be component dot post data will be filled with the user uh, we have what whatever the post we have given it will fill with that one now what i need to do so now the we got the post details as soon as as soon as we got the post details and we call this fixture dot detect changes the state got updated and here in the post dot component dot html the child components will be loaded now we need to check that whether the child components is loaded or not so we need to go through the child component and inside this child component we need to trigger the button click event so that we need to check again this delete method is called or not. So let's try to see it. So here what I am trying to do. So first we need to get the post component, single post component debug elements. So here how can I get? So first one is the fixture. We will get the fixture. Okay. Fixture dot debug element. So here fixture dot debug element and in this debug element we will have query all. So we will know that we are having more than one post sale component. So I am using this query all. So in this query all, we need to use the by dot directive. So why? Because we need to get the components, not the HTML elements. So here I will be using this post component, right? That's it. 
So now here we will be getting all the post component debug elements. Now what I need to do? So I need to go to I need to get the instance of the first component, first post component debug element. So that means post component debug elements of first one. So that means first child component. I am taking the first child component and I am querying into this one. So you so I need to query the button. So here you will be having this button, right? So I need to query this button. So now what I can do here by dot CSS of button. So I am getting the button. We know that the button is only one is there. So here we are. If we have in the post dot component, we have only the button. So if you have multiple buttons, means you can get you can get that button through the class name. But we are having only the button. So for that reason, I am adding here directly the tag name. So by dot CSS of button. And here what I need to do. So we got the button. And what I need to do, I need to invoke this. Click event. So I need to invoke this click event. So how can we invoke here? So we have a method that is trigger event handler. So we can have the trigger event handler. And if you go here, so we will be having the two things. First one is the event name, the type of event name. Here the type of event name is nothing but the click event and event object. If you want to send any data to that one, so you can send it. So we know that first one is an event name is nothing but a click event. Okay. And the second one is the object. So if you try to see here, we are sending the event object. And now if you go to the post component dot ts on delete post, so it is it is have it is taking the parameter of event. And here we uh, that event is having a method that prevent default. So if you want means you can create the spy object for that one. So as we so I am not creating here. I will create an object so that we will be having prevent default as I will say I will be sending like this. And I will be keep keeping it as an empty object. That's it. So now I have triggered a event handler click event. So whenever this button is clicked, we need to make sure that this component in in the parent component this method has been called or not. So let's spy on this method and let's check that it has been called or not. So how to spy on this method? So here I can go spy on spy on component. So I will be using this delete method. So I need to spy on this component delete method. Component is nothing but the parent component instance. If you try to see here in the before each, we are getting the component. Here we will be able to see the component. So at the top you will be able to see. So here fixture dot component instance. It is the parent component instance. Now we we are spying on this component, and here I need to check that expect component dot delete dot to have been called. And also, what is the thing we need to check? So, if you try to see here, the post component dot ts, this delete method is called with the particular post. We need to check that that whether the post has been sent or not, the parameter has been sent or not. So, what is this one? So, we are checking with the for the first child component. We need to check that only the first post has to be sent. So, now what is the thing I can do with post of zero? So, we are checking with the first one. So, you need to check it like this. Now, if you try to see the output, so let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, so cannot read properties of undefined delete. So, what could be the problem here? So, let's try to see. It. So, what could be the problem here? So, this is the fun function. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, we need to write it inside this test case. So, we have written outside this test case. So, fine. Let's try to see the output now. If I try to see the output, so is this one executed or not? So, if we try to see it down. So now let's try to test it again. So let's try to test it. So I am rerunning the test again. So now I have rerun the test. So it is running successfully. So now here we we are able to see all the tests. So here if you try to see the post component and the delete method should call delete method when post component button is clicked. So it is able to get the correct post. Now if I try to send the first post. So here we are taking the first child component. So that means only the first post has to be sent to this one. But I am checking it with the second post, second second post. So whether the first component, child component, has get the second post or not. If I try to see here, so we got an error that. So you are get, trying to see with the two, but actually the calls are made with the one. So it is correct, right? So now here I can make it as zero. So now we, and also we need to write a test in a such way that all the child components we need to check it. So how can we check it? We can write a for loop. So let i is equal to zero, i less than post component. D is dot length, okay. I plus plus. I can take it like this. 
and I can write entire I can take this entire thing and I can write it in the for loop so here I can take the I here and also I can check it with the I here that's it so now if you try to check the output here so everything will be called without any problem so if you try to see here so everything is called here so everything you got success so this is how we will be right you will be testing the elements in the child component so if you want to trigger the elements in the template means so you will be using like this trigger event handler so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you